Let's roll for some spam musubi. Nine, teriyaki. Let's crack it open. Nice little hiss. Usually these flavor ones have some congealed fat on the edges of the can. By the smell test? Yeah, it smells like spam with sweet teriyaki sauce. This one also has some juice. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, it's like vaguely sweet. Cut it like this. No, no, no. You gotta cut it perpendicular to the can. As far as spam goes, it's a little bit dark colored, almost like a pepperoni color, little reddish orange. Let's try a raw slice as usual. This is a fully cooked product. Sweet. Texture is maybe a little bit more softer. Let's get it fried up. We'll pan fry these until oh, yeah. they're nice and crispy nice. on the edges. And for the sugars and the sauce to caramelize. Beautiful. Next, let's roll for the sweetener. Two, maple. Let's start by deglazing the pan with some meat in. This is a Japanese rice cooking wine. I had opened up a new bottle. Follow that with some shoyu. And finally for our Kirkland maple syrup. We've used maple before. It works incredibly well here for Spam Musubi. Cook this down until it coats your spatula. We'll throw our Spam back in. Get a nice candy glaze on there. It's like super teriyaki. Now that's done, let's roll for our rice. Five, kongbap. Let's make two cups of rice. I'm out of the regular beans today, but I do have frozen green peas. So let's go ahead and throw those on there. It's going to add extra fiber and protein to our dish. It'll give it a healthy taste. Kids will hate it. We have all the components. Let's go ahead and start building our musubi. On the rough side, let's go ahead and put in our rice. We'll tamp this down to create an even surface. Next, let's roll our furikake. Two, kimchi. Hey, nice little hiss. Crunchy and garlicky. Interestingly, it is spicy, but it's like a wasabi spicy, not like a regular kimchi is. Let's put a nice layer on top of the rice and top it off with our candied spam. My mouth is watering already. Finally, let's roll for wild magic. One, cheese it. I am out of mozzarella cheese, so we're going to use American cheese. I've had it as part of kimbap and it can actually work pretty well. Let's see how it goes in here. Just look at the beautiful layers. Let's go ahead and fold up the wings. Beautiful, let's give it a taste. So nice and crispy. That is really good. The green piece, it has a nice sweetness, but it does have that healthy taste. Kids are gonna hate this. The kimchi furikake adds a nice crunch and it adds a nice spiciness. Not like how a regular kimchi is, but it has a wasabi-like hotness that kind of burns the nose. American cheese, it's funny because the heat actually melted the American cheese. Adds like a nice velvety smoothness to the bite. Normally, I'm not a big fan of American cheese outside of cheeseburgers, but like in a cheeseburger, it melts well and it adds a really nice texture and flavor as well. Let's give this one a 10 out of 10. Wow. It's something that I would actually add to my menu. Last bite to camera woman. Uh, it's good to be back. Thanks for watching.